He's a kid but has a mind of a grown up. That's the type of person Eddie is. Through the eyes of a proud mother, 10 year old Eddie Smith is a normal, happy child. He's very outgoing, smart, very smart. But through the lens of a microscope, Eddie is much different than other children his age. At birth, Eddie was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. At first, his condition seemed to have little effect on his daily life. But eventually, that began to change. As Eddie got older, you know, he began to get sick around five years old. And um, the first incident was the first light stroke. Take your shoes off for me so we can get a hot weight on you. A stroke that would lead his mother on a journey to find health and happiness for her son. Sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder in which the hemoglobin or the coloring part of blood has a defect that causes healthy, normally round red blood cells to change forms. Is there juice in here? Yeah. Pediatrician Lillian Beard specializes in treating children with sickle cell anemia. She says when red blood cells become sickled or crescent-shaped, medical complications can occur. This most often happens when sickle-shaped cells block small blood vessels and prevent blood from traveling to all parts of the body. Tissue that does not receive normal blood flow eventually becomes damaged. For Eddie, this has meant two light strokes in his young life. It also means regular blood transfusions to help his body replenish its supply of healthy red blood cells. Along with monthly blood transfusions, Eddie also regularly visits his pediatrician and pediatric specialists to monitor his health. Dr. Beard says it's this kind of diligent follow-up that keeps children with sickle cell anemia healthy. We want to be certain that the child is adequately immunized with a complete series. We want to be certain that the child is getting a very balanced diet and we're monitoring the growth and development very closely. Sickle cell anemia is an inherited disorder and parents can request a simple blood test to determine if they are carriers of the sickle cell trait. If both parents carry the sickle cell trait, there is a 25% chance one of their children will be born with full-blown sickle cell anemia. By knowing this ahead of time, Dr. Beard says parents can become educated on the condition and treatment options much sooner. Dr. Beard also advises parents to seek support and education through local sickle cell associations and support groups. And don't forget your child's pediatrician as a source of support and guidance. It's very important to establish a very good communication and a good relationship with your pediatrician. Your pediatrician is going to be a partner with you in providing not only health care, but advice along the way. Although a cure has not yet been found for this condition, new bone marrow and stem cell research gives pediatricians like Dr. Beard hope for the future. The good news is that the landscape with sickle cell anemia is changing very rapidly. We don't have a cure today, but I can foresee that one day there will be a cure for sickle cell anemia.